Time format. Yes, 12 hour time, please. There we go, 421, much better. Now lullabies. And so today we're back with a security camera that's a little different than most. Special thanks to our friends at this company who are nice enough to send us this security camera that is also an alarm clock. You can check the time, the temperature, and it's a night light all with a security camera in it, which would be great to use as like a baby monitor in a lot of ways. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig, we're gonna unbox this, we'll set it up, and we'll show you this camera actually working. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out this new alarm clock security camera. All right, so today we have this little B01 alarm clock camera. And you can see here, alarm clock, time, temperature, night light, and just the company name there, a little slogan there. This side mentions their cloud service. So uh, there's cloud push to get a real-time text or image notification on your phone, cloud recording, store alarm videos that are triggered by motion and sound, and cloud playback. This side just mentions monitor various locations, uh, screen linkage, noise detection, motion detection, and lullabies. So this is like a perfect baby monitor. Got monitor by app at any time, anywhere, night vision, night lamp, rotate 355 degrees, micro SD local and cloud storage. So it'll work with a four to 128 gigabyte micro SD card. So if you have an old four gig, that'll work. If you have a big 128 gig, that'll work. One press to call, one button to call out to mobile phone holder. So that should ring the cell phone of whoever this is set up to. So that's pretty nice. Two-way audio with a high quality leading edge mic and speaker. And it's got a four-in-one design, temperature, time, clock, camera, all in one. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this on up. We've got uh, two little things to cut there and there. And then the top should slide off like... All right, so uh, baby monitor accessories kit. I think they should use baby monitor as the name than kids camera, just my opinion. Um, so this, very interesting, wow. This is the USB-C to USB-A cable. Looks like this antenna is a part of this cable. That's very interesting, but power cable and a little reset pin. And that's it for that. Got a nice little power brick here. And uh, take the camera out. It's just cardboard. And lastly, a nice uh, little instruction guide here. And that's it for that box as well. So this is the camera, love the size of it. I wonder if this is uh, magnetic. No. Okay. Add the test. Wow. Very cool. So the camera's right here. You got your time right here. Uh, looks like this might be the night light on the back with the speaker and your USB C port for power. That's the uh, microphone button right there. That's probably the one button to call. Your micro SD card slot, reset pin, and uh, that's really it. Let me peel this on off. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's really a look around this camera. I love how small it is. Very small, fits nice and neat in your hand, does a few things. So that's, uh, to me, that's a good plus. My guess is since there's not a lot of buttons on here, the time will come from the app, as well as if you wanted to set alarms and stuff, that would all be done inside the app. This thing's pretty unique, I, I like this. So, so we're gonna get the app downloaded and uh, plug this up and show you what we gotta do next. So this here is the QR code for the app. You can just scan this and it'll take you directly to either the App Store for Apple or the Google Play Store for Android devices. And this is what the app would look like. So just install this app on your phone, create you an account and log in, and we'll show you what to do next. All right, so take your power brick, Plug your power brick into your little cable here. Plug this into the wall. And before we fully get going, this is a 32 gigabyte class 10 micro SD card. Any class 10 micro SD card should work great in this. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Looks like it goes this way. There we go. Slide that into the camera. And then lastly, plug in our USB-C cable so that this has power. There we go, we have power. Got the temp and everything, that's so cool. Okay. I didn't realize you could move the camera around. Like I saw that the bottom moved, but I thought it was just manually set. Very, very cool. So you would essentially come into your app. This is what you would see once you made your account. Click add device. 
it wants location permission. So we'll click continue and allow while using the app. And then we'll click here for turn on Bluetooth and we'll set nearby permissions, continue, allow, and that should allow it to just find this automatically. Now, if it doesn't, we'll go in and find it, but uh, so it has not popped up yet. I'm uh, just gonna click on cameras. We're gonna try indoor PTZ camera. Click next, next, got it. So let's put in our Wi-Fi password, and now we have this QR code. So I'll try to scan this QR code with the camera. That worked. I heard a prompt, and now I'll just lay this here to do what it needs to do so it can connect this camera to my Wi-Fi. I see the Wi-Fi light has went solid. It was flashing before. We've got the time. Look at that. All right. So Smart Camera B01. I'm just going to leave that name. And so this is uh, what it looks like. Very, very nice. So we have a little HD toggle over here. We can go HD or SD. We'll definitely leave it on SD. The mic to mute and unmute it. Leave it muted for now. Down here at the bottom, we have a handful of settings. Wow. Playback, gallery, theme cover, light mode, dark mode. Okay. Private mode, device in sleep mode, turn on camera. Okay, well that's pretty easy. Night mode, anti-flicker, device volume, let's put that up to 10. Motion detection, we'll turn that on. Sound detection, we'll turn that on. The temp reading, the temp reading. So we can change this to Fahrenheit, thank you. And there's even alarms. So like a high temperature reading or a low temperature reading. Uh, the night light, let's click it. It's at 100% brightness. So it is on the back. I'll show you that uh, right here. I'll show you a clip of it. So here's a good look at what this would look like in the daylight if you were to like have it on your desk. And of course, let me show you the light. So turn off the office lights. And so that's what it looks like lit up at nighttime. You can see the little night vision lights on. And if I switch on the night light, there's what the night light looks like. So in this room, it puts off a decent amount of light. You can control that brightness. So I have it at 100. I'm going to take it down to, that's 40%. And uh, that'd be 1%. That's 24%. So a very, very nice night light. Uh, lullabies, time format. Yes, 12 hour time, please. There we go, 421, much better. Now lullabies, uh, looks like it just has some lullabies to play. Hush baby. Very cool. And that just keeps going to stop it. All right. Now uh, down here is alarms. So uh, you can set some alarms if you want. Uh, this is for the cloud service. This is for the direction. So it doesn't go up and down, but you can make it go left and right. This is very, very good from what I'm seeing. I mean, normally apps are not as responsive as this. Now, of course, this button here will take a photo. That is the microphone to talk to the camera. That is the video button to record a video. And I believe if I hit this. Look at that. There we go. That worked. That was that called me right away. Okay. Now, outside of that, you got your three dots up here for your settings. So uh, you can turn on that private mode if you want, basic function settings, watermark, etc. One-way communication, let's do two-way talk, uh, device information, just IP address and stuff. Infrared night vision set to auto, display settings. So you can turn that brightness up or down if you want. Seems like it's pretty perfect. Sound, that's for the volume. Detection alarm settings. Here's where you can also turn on sound and motion detection. I'd switch them back off due to it popping up every few seconds. Siren adjustment. All right. Storage settings. You can see the micro SD card is in there. And then cloud offline notification. A notification will be sent if the device stays offline over 30 minutes. Yes, every camera should have that. And it uh, looks like we even have a little update here. So I'm going to turn on auto update, confirm, and we will update the camera. And after this update, I will come back here and make some audio video clips to show you uh, the quality of this camera. Firmware is being upgraded. Please do not black out. It needs about two minutes. Wow. Okay. It just said firmware upgrade succeeded. Very nice. I am loving this camera. Very, very cool. Wow. I guess uh, now let's uh, try out a picture. Let me come down here a little bit. Turn my deuces up. All right. It says it's taken that. And then I will do a video clip so you can see a little counter there is recording. This is a daytime audio video test on this little alarm clock baby monitor camera. And then click that 
and it says it has saved that as well. And as an added bonus, it went right here into my Google Photos. Love that. Now let's go try out the speaker. And uh, in terms of the setup and a look around the app, that's really about it. Let me show you a nighttime audio video test right here, and I think that'll do it. This is a nighttime audio video test on this alarm clock baby monitor camera. So there you have it. A look at this little alarm clock baby monitor camera. Now I know I'm calling it like four things, but that's because I don't really want to call it a kid's camera. I feel like baby monitor camera or clock baby monitor camera something like that sounds a lot better in terms of the picture quality though great great picture quality i love the little night light on the back that's perfect love that you can know the temp of the room love that you can see the time for if you're in your baby's room changing a diaper or something like that you ain't gotta you ain't gotta pull out your phone or nothing you'd be able to just look right over see what time it is it has lullabies and just an all-around very smooth very good app normally apps are not this good this is one of the best apps that I've used for any device like this. So of course, I'll have this exact baby monitor clock camera link down below in my description if you would like to grab one for yourself. And I think that will do it for this video. Thanks again to this company. It was nice enough to send this to me. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.